All right. Jeremy St. Louis, Tommy Tran back here with the Wizard of Odds, Kenny White and Chip Patasson. So we're taking a look at the line here. Five and a half. Uh, it's down to 149. It's actually dropped a little bit here. Kenny, you've played some where the market's moved with you, but you like the over here. So if you get in now, you're actually getting maybe a better number than you did this morning. No, the Marquette game, I like this game under, uh, okay. Tommy. I went, I went under 142 and a half. You're right. The market down now to 139. And and I believe it's all about uh, the Michigan State Sparty, uh, Tom Izzo, defense and rebounding. And we know that every year that's what we're going to get out of Michigan State. We know that they're going to peak at the right time. We know that when they get to the tournament, uh, they're going to slow the pace down. They're going to they're going to make this a half court basketball game. Um, will Marquette be able to um, be successful in that? Because this is one of the fastest teams in the country. They love to get up and down. They love to pressure. Uh, they love to force a track meet. But Tom Izzo's team's not going to get into that. They will definitely slow this pace down, and that's why I like the game under. Uh, and it's it's a such a regional rivalry too. What a great game in the second round uh, to have these two face off against each other. So this will be a fun one to watch, even though it's going to be a low scoring game. Uh, it's going to be heated, and that's going to help the uh, under as well. Okay, you are going under there in that 140 flat there, Chip. You're taking a look at Michigan State and Marquette grabbing the points here, and it's moved to three recently. Yeah, and I love being able to get that full possession. Um, this is another example where we can look in the second round and be able to take some notes from who the team played and how they performed. Because Michigan State against USC had one of its best defensive performances in nearly a month. In fact, one of my criticisms of this Michigan State team in the regular season coming down the stretch is that it was not playing that Michigan State expectation level of defense. But they did a really good job, particularly against the ball screen and particular, particularly against Tyler Kolek, one of the best guards in all of the Big East. Uh, excuse me, uh, against Boogie Ellis, and that is going to be repeatable against Tyler Kolek. So I think about Michigan State and how they're going to go into that practice, how they're going to go into the game prep and the scout, and Tom Hizzo is going to be like, what we just did to USC, that's what we need to do again here against this Marquette team. That's what we need to do against Tyler Kolek. Offensively, I've always enjoyed that Tyson Walker, A.J. Hogard two-man game and the way that they involve Hauser as the good stretch four who shoots – from three, about 40% range. I think that Marquette, you know, better on the offensive end than they are on the defensive end. Uh, Sparty's going to be able to fill it up just a little bit. I think that this is a great opportunity to jump on a Michigan State team, playing with confidence off one of its best performances, particularly on the defensive side in about a month. Uh, so I will take all three of those points. And if you want to sprinkle, I don't hate that <laughs> money line plus value as well. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.